So you're sitting with your spouses and with all the inhabitants of Jannah in one place. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala releases the veil. And you see Allah. You see Allah. And there you see your palace minimum made of golden bricks and silver bricks. It has been kept together with musk, pure musk. How? Allahu alam. And the light is humongous. It emanates from the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the light of Jannah. There's no sun. Can a woman get pregnant in Jannah? I want children. He was a better one. That's how they used to ask their questions. The Rasul Sallallahu says, a woman gets pregnant in one hour and gives birth and returns back to the way she was as if she was untouched. And there is no agony or pain if you want children. With their Lord are many paradises. Jannat is a plural for Jannah. Jannat is plural for Jannah. Allah Subhanahu has installed many, many gardens for one single person. Beneath which rivers flow. The standard look of Jannah, if you were to look at the floor, you know when you go outside and you walk and there's pebbles under you, you just sort of kick them aside. In Jannah they are pearls, pearls and diamonds. When you see your wife in Jannah, you're going to look at her and think, Oh my God, it's the Hur al-Ain, Allahu Akbar. One thread of her hair, if it were to be shown on the earth, it will light up more than the sun. In the hadith, if she spat in, in the ocean, it will turn it all sweet. My brothers and sisters in Islam, the palaces are humongous. I can't even describe how big they are. One room in there, on standard level, standard, is about 60 miles long. And how many rooms are in there? Uncountable. How many palaces are there, are there in your land? Allahu Akbar. Count. And you'll keep counting, subhanAllah. And in that palace, the angels have prepared an exquisite meal for you and your wife and the inhabitants of Jannah. There is a meal and a feast that you are going to receive. As a welcome to all the inhabitants of Jannah, what is it? First of all, you get appetizers. As in the hadith, the appetizer is, and be patient with me when you hear it, it is the most tender part of the liver of a whale. And when you say meat, and when you say all these things in Jannah, it tastes nothing like over here. And then you have tours, guides, who show you around Jannah. You come past these special rivers, they are four of them. And they exist throughout Jannah for all the inhabitants of Jannah. Let alone the rivers that are specifically for you. You have your own rivers and you have rivers for all the people of Jannah who drink from. They are rivers of milk, river, a river of water that never goes off, a river of honey that is pure, and a river of wine. Again, don't think water of this world, milk of this world, honey of this world, or wine of this world. Then you get wine from a fountain called Salsabil, but it's not intoxicant. And then the feast comes along. The angels bring to you the meat of beef. It is a cat, it is a, 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 it is a buffalo that has been grazing the most tender parts of the grasses of Jannah since the day Jannah was created, prepared for you. And it will be slaughtered, and then you will eat from its meat. You will eat beef, and you're thinking to yourself, but I don't like beef in this world. Well, in Jannah, it's not the same beef. And guess what? It's been mixed with all the spices and all the things that you love. And Allah has created these angels or these people who make it, and they are chefs. Imagine being created a chef by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do that. There are special creatures in Jannah whom Allah has created to decorate your palace. So forget about all the interior designers that you've ever thought of. These are the best. Allah has created them to decorate and design the interior of your palace. And the first thing that you are given is to quench your thirst. After all this time of waiting in the day of judgment, you are given wine, which is mixed with ginger, to refresh yourself in the waiting area. And you are with these beautiful people with bright faces. They're all smiling. They're all cheerful. They're all telling you, come and read my book. And you say, read mine. And they say, well, you know, what about mine? Look what I've done here. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has wiped away all the sins. No one knows them. They're a secret between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can never get enough of something. You can never get full. You can never get hungry. You don't go to the toilet. <laughs> I see the young boys and girls here. You don't go to the toilet there ever again. So you don't have to worry about your mums and dads telling you, did you go to the toilet this morning? Up there, there's no toilet. You don't need to. There's nothing that smells anymore. There's nothing that 
You don't sweat anything smelly. It's just pure enjoyment. You can never get enough of everything. You can swim in a river made of chocolate and eat chocolate fish if you want. And you will never get enough because there's no diabetes. There's no issues of overweight. There's no issues of underweight. There's no issues of anything at all. And you're looking around and you see these beautiful trees, the trunks made of gold. What's that? Made of gold? Is it like the gold of this world? No. The silver, is it like the silver of this world? No. You look at it and you say, this is gold, that's silver, but it's not like any gold I've ever seen before or silver I've ever seen. The trunks are huge. The leaves are massive. The shade is humongous. There are trees there that take a horse to gallop very fast, as in the hadith. A very fast, swift horse for three days to cross just the shade of some of its trees. did say, In paradise there are things that no eye has ever seen. And no ear has ever heard. And it hasn't even occurred to the heart of any creation. Is at the doors of Jannah, and the door is opened, the angels who are standing to welcome the people, they say to them the first word. What do you think they say first thing? Peace. Because this is what we're all yearning for. Of this door, it's a marvelous door, huge door, very wide, hundreds of kilometers wide, in fact, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's doors to Jannah are wide and His generosity is immense. Imagine what there are tents in Jannah, they are like they are actually hollow pearls, one big pearl, and it's hollow, its size is 60 miles in length. I wonder what's in there. Oh, sorry, another man called out and says, Ya Rasulullah, what about plantation? Can I farm in Jannah? The guy wants to farm and plow and dig and plant. He said, Rasul smiled and he said, Allahu Akbar. In Jannah, you plant the seed and suddenly the beauty of your crops begins to race with your eyes. Sabaq al-Nadar, meaning your eyes and the beauty and the growth, it's in a race now. She said, that's Jannah, that's paradise. Can't you see there's no difference between whites and blacks? There is no difference between, there's no harm. The children are playing around the lion and the lion is playing with the butterfly. It's beautiful and peace. I said, paradise, there is no more work. There is no more worship. None of that ever again. When you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you forget all the beauty that you have ever seen until this point. Allahu Akbar. And what could describe the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Nothing. Nothing. Allah says in the Quran, on that day, faces will be bright, looking at their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibn al-Qayyim says in his beautiful poem, but in English it doesn't sound nice. What he says is, he says, they look at their Lord and suddenly there is no more beautiful thing that they have ever laid their eyes on after what they have laid their eyes on already from the beauty of Jannah than the sight of the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you forget all the beauty that you have ever seen until this point. And, with, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware watching everyone. Brothers and sisters in Islam, you've all heard about paradise. You've all heard about Jannah. And some people think of it as a fantasy. They can't really grasp the reality of it. 